So follow Kristen with a Tristan, different names, different people about same height. Thank you, everybody. Um, pleasure to be here. So I'm here representing SeedSpot. I'm the vice president of programs for SeedSpot. And 10 years ago, I started like many of our entrepreneurs in one of these chairs. I had an idea. I was tired of making pretty much nothing being a school educator. And I wondered how could I do more still helping kids? Came to SeedSpot and I learned all about how to launch my own nonprofit. And then after some time realized, like maybe some of you, I'm not made to be a CEO. <laughs> I'm made to support somebody else's dreams. And that's why I came to SeedSpot. SeedSpot's on a mission to educate, accelerate, and invest in impact-driven entrepreneurs. This is what makes us different. So we work with businesses, whether they be non or for-profits, that are creating systematic changes in their communities or sometimes in the globe. So let's talk a little bit about our traction. Over the course of 10 years, uh, we've served just over 3,000 people, human, human beings, not only in Arizona, also now globally, thanks to the internet and a pandemic. Uh, three in four of our entrepreneurs or alumni uh, are underrepresented, and this is self-reported. Every year we get something called an impact survey. I think we've got a couple alumni in the room. I see you. You've been pestered annually for this data. So thank you uh, for providing us with that. A couple of things I want to highlight is that our entrepreneurs have raised over $122 million in capital. Uh, the revenue that they've generated, their businesses have generated, is around $306 million, and they've created about 5,000 jobs. And then we can break down the actual social impact, right, from the demographics. Women founders, BIPOC founders, over half of the people that we work with um, identify as part of this population. So as I mentioned, we started here in Phoenix. We have an office also in D.C., and we have virtual programs that allow us to go everywhere. What I want to point out is the work that we've done in Phoenix. Over $191,000 in non-dilutive grants have gone to entrepreneurs here in Arizona. Cool. So I talked about social impact. What does that mean? Um, we look to the United Nations. You might be familiar with them. They created something called the Sustainable Development Goals. Uh, and it kind of breaks down 17 different goals on how businesses or entrepreneurs can change the world. And what we find is that our entrepreneurs kind of fall commonly into these five impact areas. And I bet you wouldn't be surprised over the past year, health and wellness was the number one business we saw come through our doors. And uh, this changes every year because of what the world around us and what we're inspired by, the businesses are also inspired by. So what are our, what do we do? Um, we have three kind of core programs. The first is a two-day launch camp. We also offer, offer this both virtually and in-person. Dates are on the screen. This is perfect for early phase entrepreneurs that don't have traction. You're looking for a problem solution fit. You're looking for validation. You will leave with mentors, a network of mentors, as well as an elevator pitch and a six slide deck. Um, if you're looking for a little deeper, we have our impact accelerators. Uh, our next one is virtual and it starts really soon here. Actually, we've got somebody who's in it in the room. Joe, where are you? You're not paying attention. Okay, great. Joe's in it. You can talk to Joe about it. He knows all about it. Anyway, uh, it's an eight-week program. You get matched with one mentor through the entire program. And I like to call it an MBA for your personal business. So each week we have different things like sales, marketing, um, and ultimately you leave with a 12 to 15 slide deck, three-minute pitch. And speaking about leaving things, I'm about to leave. Before I leave, startup spring training, uh, we do a program and initiative. Everybody who participates gets non-dilutive funding. Uh, last year, here are the stats on it. If you want cash, free cash, please come and do this. We have a Spanish track. We have an English track. We, you work with all the community partners that you've seen pretty much here on the stage, um, virtual and in-person. And by the way, I'm done. Thank you so much.